The AI landscape is at a strategic inflection point. The game is no longer about building better LLMs. It's now a capital-intensive arms race for artificial general intelligence or artificial superintelligence. The race is triggering a tectonic shift in hardware demand and creating major pivots in strategy. Take a look at Meta. Once the king of open source, the company's dramatically restructuring, funneling resources from its academic style research team into a more proprietary closed lab with one goal, build super intelligence. This pivot signals one fault line in the AI world, open versus closed. In this video, we'll break down different strategies in the quest for AGI slash ASI, contrasting the approaches of players like OpenAI and Reflection AI. I'm George Geis, and this is AI Venture Watch. All right, I'm gonna bring out the AGI ASI sector, and notice I've got these lumped together, AGI and ASI, and probably that's the best way to think about it as opposed to keeping them in separate sectors, meaning that ASI can be viewed as an extension of AGI, as we'll, as we'll see. So to look at this sector in more detail, the quest for artificial general intelligence and artificial superintelligence has moved uh, beyond the contest of algorithms into an infrastructure arms race. This is what we've said before. Now, three nation-scale scarce resources come to play. One is unprecedented computational power. Two is access to very massive proprietary data sets. And three, maybe most important, is elite researchers capable of building frontier models. You may know that AGI refers to systems with human-level cognitive versatility across a wide range of, of tasks as opposed to narrow limited uh, emphasis. Uh, ASI goes further than this in saying, let's surpass human intelligence in every important domain like reasoning and creativity and strategic foresight and recommendations, emotional nuance. Get the idea uh, that this is super intelligence. So that is the description of the sector. Let's look at some players that are playing in this market, okay? So I'll bring out companies that are involved in this. This is not all, but this is a sample list. A lot of these companies' names you're familiar with, Anthropic and DeepMind and Microsoft Research, apart from its partnership with OpenAI, DeepSeek, the Chinese company, and Meta. Here's Meta Super Intelligence that we mentioned. Baidu Research, the China, leading Chinese company working in this space. XI, XAI, Elon Musk's uh, company. But I want to concentrate on these two companies for focus. And let me dismiss everything else and come back and look at OpenAI and Reflection AI and what they're doing specifically in their pursuit of AGI and ASI. So let's start with OpenAI. Now, OpenAI is advancing or attempting to advance AGI through a structured roadmap grounded in, quote unquote, scaling is all. So if I increase model size and training data, I can on continually unlock emergent uh, capabilities which become more and more powerful. Now you've seen this with GPT-4, GPT-5, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's its basic approach, this Scaling is all philosophy. Now, we should note, however, that OpenAI has a super alignment uh, initiative, which is meant to ensure that future super intelligence systems stay aligned with human values as they surpass human cognitive abilities. Now, ironically, despite its name, OpenAI, OpenAI uh, models are essentially closed proprietary systems with limited transparency. Now, this tension between openness and stated goals of safety 
underscores the complexity of working in the area of artificial general intelligence and, uh, and the challenges of governance. So that's open AI. Let's go to reflection AI. Concentrating on this and this initiative, uh, reflection AI represents an agentic first hypothesis, meaning that let's challenge the scaling is all philosophy of open AI. We want to build agency, the capacity for AI systems to take goal-directed steps or actions in complex environments. That's, they say, the true bottleneck to AGI, rather than just improving language and making deeper and deeper uh, models with more and more training. Let's go for agentic AI first. Now, they've started with autonomous coding, because that's viewed as a ideal beachhead for the thesis offering a domain where agents, agentic reasoning and tools can be rigorously tested and then scale. So in contrast to closed frontier labs like OpenAI, Reflection AI commits to openness by releasing its models publicly, positioning itself as the Western champion of open source super intelligence. All right, so that's, those are two contrasting companies. Now, I want to show you one thing before we summarize what we've said. I'll select these companies, and I'm going to show you their corporate venture capital, some of the major corporate venture investors. This is going to be no surprise that what comes back is you'll see that NVIDIA has invested in both of these companies. Uh, it's invested October 9th, 2025 in co-led, Reflection AI Series B with a pre-money of $6 billion. And you probably have heard also that in September 22nd of 2025, NVIDIA committed $100 billion in a landmark investment over time in OpenAI. It also participated in funding earlier funding rounds, but this is a, a massive investment that NVIDIA is making. Now, some have criticized this or commented on it. It seems like a, a round, almost a round trip, a, a cycle that that Inv NVIDIA is investing in OpenAI, OpenAI, OpenAI is buying NVIDIA's chips. And some people are very bothered by this, this round trip nature of this type of transaction. But take a look, NVIDIA is in both companies. Now, of course, you probably also know that Microsoft is deeply invested in OpenAI. And recently, in October 28th of 2025, converted its open eye investment of around $13 billion into a 27% equity stake in OpenAI's for-profit entity. All right, so there you have it. The race for AGI isn't monolithic. It's a battle of competing philosophies, as shown by OpenAI and Reflection AI. They represent two fault lines in this quest. One is the fortress versus the forum. Is superintelligence a proprietary secret to be built in a closed lab? Or is it a challenge that must be solved in the open? as Reflection AI is betting. The second dimension is the path to the peak. Do you get AGI by building a massive, scaling-first generalist, as OpenAI is doing? Or do you win by achieving specialization first, focusing on a root problem, like autonomous coding, as Reflection AI is doing? And who's betting, who's placing bet on both horses? Well, our dear venture financier, NVIDIA. As an investor in both labs, NVIDIA can be viewed as an arms dealer, ensuring that no matter whose philosophy ultimately prevails, they power the revolution.